What will replace a H-64 Apache? Rotorcraft manufacturer Bell says the 360 Invictus helicopter is 90% complete and released video of the first competitive prototype carrying a full load of weapons. The release days ahead of the Farnborough International Air Show comes two weeks after Sikorsky announced that the Raider X prototype had reached the 90% complete milestone. Both prototypes are competing for the U.S. Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Vera, contract to build hundreds of new armed scout rotorcraft. Both designs are waiting for the delayed GET901 turboshaft engine, which is being developed under the improved turbine engine program. The new 360 Invictus shows the helicopter with a revised tail design, which was previously announced. Bell changed the anti-torque system from a ducted to open rotor design last year to save weight. Vera helicopters are expected to take the place of a H-64 Apache helicopters that have been serving in the attack reconnaissance role since the Army retired its OH-58D Kiowa Warrior Armed Scout helicopters without a direct replacement in 2014. Exactly what will happen to the AH-64s in question afterward remains to be seen, but many of them could end up removed entirely from the service's inventory. New Weapon What appear to be representations of either AGM-114 Hellfire missiles or AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground missiles, JAGM, as well as Common Launch Tubes, CLT, appear to be loaded onto the racks themselves. CLTs, as the name indicates, can be loaded with various munitions, as well as air launch drones. When it comes to the FORA program, the Army envisions whatever helicopter it chooses as being able to employ various types of unmanned systems, also referred to as Air Launched Effects, ALE, from these tubes. Once launched, the ALEs will able to operate in swarms to perform stand and electronic attack, loitering strike, surveillance, and other tasks, as you can read more about here. The T Invictus is also shown for the first time carrying the XM915, a 20mm cannon developed for the FORA program. The Army launched the FORA program in 2018 with requirements to fly at least 180 knot. The aircraft must also use the 3000 Chef T901 engine and limit the rotor diameter to 40 feet. The maximum takeoff weight can be no higher than 14,000 pounds. The Army also specified the use of the XM915 and that the overall system must be affordable. With the U.S. Army's target price of 30 million U.S. dollars per aircraft, the Bell's 360 Invictus prototype attack helicopter is being designed to fulfill current and future U.S. Army requirements, and it faces tough competition from rival Sikorsky, the Raider X. Built to fight and survive. The performance of helicopters on both sides of the conflict in Ukraine has raised questions about the future of the FORA program, as well as other Army helicopter modernization efforts under the umbrella of the broader Future Vertical Lift FBL, initiative. Russian and Ukrainian helicopter fleets have both suffered significant losses, especially at the hands of shoulder-fired surface-to-air missiles, also known as Man Portable Air Defense Systems man pads. At the same time, when the Army first announced the FORA program publicly, the service said that the winning design would be required to have a defensive suite to protect it from modern air defense threats and the capabilities necessary to breach through them. No matter how the FORA program ultimately proceeds, Bell is making steady progress toward finishing the Invictus 360 prototype as it looks toward the type's possible first flight in 2023.